Hi everyone, good morning. It's Margaret Manning here and welcome to Mornings with 60 and Me. Today's Wednesday, it's December the 28th. It is a beautiful, bright, sunny day today. I cannot believe it. The, my room is just illuminated with light. <laughs> it's a great day in the middle of winter. Winter light is so special, isn't it? I really, really love it. So I hope that you had a good start to your day as well. It's the middle of the week. I'm having my cup of tea this morning. I've got Ruibas which I really like. It's a, non, it's a decaf um, tea, which is nice if you've had a bit of uh, too much coffee over the weekend, over the holiday. But um, anyway, it's a really nice tea, Rui Bas, and uh, strong tea, but delicious. Hope you got a cup of tea or coffee with you. And um, as you're feeling really positive about the week, um, the new year is approaching, 2017. I don't know where the time has gone, but hope that you've got some fun things planned. Uh, maybe you've got a special New Year's Eve party or some time with friends and family. But whatever it is, I just hope you um, have a wonderful week. But um, here we are on Wednesday. Um, and I've got an article I wanted to share to give you some perspective, I think, on some things that um, may be kind of overwhelming you during the weekend, um, during the week, I should say, about um, how to spend the holidays and maybe indulging a little bit uh, more than you usually do. Um, we have a fabulous blogger. Her name's Stephanie Raffalock. Now, I love Stephanie. She's so funny, but she does quite serious pieces too. But this one is, is I think, one of her funny ones, and I hope you enjoy it. It's called Eight Guilty Pleasures for the Holidays. And I'm going to read some of it too because <laughs> I, I just can't even do justice to, to the way she describes um, what you should feel comfortable doing in the holidays. So she says, after, De after December uh, 25th, Christmas Day, it's time to relax. We've got a week now where we can just be ourselves, have fun, do what we like. Honestly, no one cares. I mean, well, we care, but no one else does. They're living their own drama. <laughs> They're doing their own thing. So anyways, um, she said, you know, you, you can start behaving um, like an adult again in the new year. But right now, just be, be, be a kid, have fun. First thing is, you know, why eat grown-up food when you can eat cookies? Seriously. Why? why? <laughs> now, I don't eat that many cookies, but there are some things during the holidays. I mean, the shops are filled with surprises and beautiful packaging. And so, you know, why, why eat normal food if you can eat a cookie? And at this time of the year, she reminds us that it's perfectly okay to have a cookie in one hand and a drink in the other hand, because, um, you yeah, know, just wave and say hi, <laughs> and no one really notices. They're just having fun too. So anyway, wave a cookie in one hand, drink in the other, and enjoy the, the experience. Now, the other thing she says to do is have a grandma's timeout or if you're not a grandma just a woman's timeout and you know stay in your pajamas all day you know just just if you insist on having a shower get into clean pajamas if you can afterwards just wear pajamas all day hang out just, I mean I know a lot of women do this I do it often <laughs> you know just wear your pajamas and, and just relax don't don't get dressed and if you, even if you have to go outside, just put a long coat on, nobody will notice, and just, just go out, pull your nighty up, <laughs> and just have fun. But that's another idea. Now, binge watching is one of uh, Stephanie's ideas, and we've, we've suggested this before, you know, where you basically choose a holiday um, or a program that you've loved uh, to watch every holiday, movie that's your favorite, or go into Netflix and just binge watch, um, you know, Friends, or uh, Person of Interest is one of my favorites. So she says one called Good Girls Revolt. I haven't seen that one. Do you have any favorites on Netflix or your your uh, online movie channel? It's really great to share this time of the year. So anyway, have a, have a grandma's um, time out and, and binge watch. Good idea. So the next thing she talks about is mindlessness. Now this is of course a, um, a variation on the theme of mindfulness. This is mindlessness, where you just do things that are completely mindless. You know, sit on and watch YouTube videos of um, you know cats or funny animals or silly things that people get up to. Um, there's a guy that uh, does dancing around the world. I wish I could remember his name, but he's funny. He's, he goes all around the world and dances with local people. He is hilarious. Oh, where's Matt? It's called Where's Matt? And uh, that's a fun one, but just be mindless. <sighs> Give your brain a rest. <laughs> You've got plenty to worry about, you know, ne next year when you can be a grown up again. But just for now, just practice mindlessness. I like that one. Laugh out loud, she says. And of course, wine is optional. <laughs> so that's the mindlessness uh, tip. The next one is physical exercise. Now she says our finger muscles this time of the year get very, very out of shape. They get neglected all year. So basically rebuild your finger muscles by going through catalogs, 
books, you know, the old editions of New Yorker, just time, you know, magazines, glossy magazines that you've just, you know, put to one side. Use that, that finger, exercise it to turn the pages on your magazine. And, um, you know, if you get tired, she says, have a lie down, have a nap. You know, finger exercises can be quite strenuous. So you know, stretch out on the couch, take it easy, but just work those, uh, work those finger muscles. I think that's a great idea. I actually have a magazine I love called Flow, and Flow is uh, it's made by um, a company in uh, Holland, and it's for people who love paper. And this magazine, I love it. It's all uh, about paper. It's got things you can tear out to make a collage with. And it's also got stories about mindfulness and uh, simplicity and uh, owning your life. And I really love it. It's, it's actually designed by a group of younger women, but they really cover the spectrum. It's really cool. And what's another one? I like Real Simple. I, I like that magazine a lot. And maybe you've got some favorites that you'd like to share with us too. But uh, exercise your finger muscles on great magazines. Another one that Stephanie suggests is movie orgies. <laughs> if you have to get dressed and go out, uh, find your local cinema and um, find a movie that you've been waiting to see. See two at a time, just stay in the seat, <laughs> pay for two tickets. But um, you know, just, just go to a movie binge and uh, but get out into the world. I've been to movies at this time of the year when I was the only person in the theater. <laughs> Has that ever happened to you? But um, you know, it's a time of the year to, to to movie binge, have movie orgies. Any films you've been looking forward to seeing? Yeah, leave them in the comments section. Maybe we'll get some ideas. It's a, been a fast-paced movie um, week. There's been lots of new movies all at once. So maybe you've seen one that you that you loved. And the next thing is to take it easy. Get in the mood. Just get in the mood. Have a hot shower. Buy some of those bubbles uh, that you put in your bath or, or that you, the creams that you can put on in, in your shower. You know, do something really, really pampering. Uh, maybe buy a bottle of nice wine if you can afford that little extra to make it special. And of course, here in Switzerland, there is the dreaded chocolate. It's beautiful. It's, it's perfect. There's so much wonderful option, many beautiful options. And um, I'm always tempted to buy my salted caramel uh, at, at this time of the year. And I have actually bought one and I, it's not been opened yet. I'm waiting for maybe tomorrow night, I'll make it special. These, these days in between Christmas and holidays, like what do you do? <laughs> you know, you're not quite celebrating Christmas, you're not quite celebrating um, New Year's, but uh, they're there to be enjoyed. So that's another thing, get in the mood. Cozy socks, Stephanie Wright says. It's a good idea, keep warm. Now the final thing that Stephanie recommends is the permission slip. Now I'm gonna read this one because it's basically a note to yourself. And um, that you write, sorry, you write to yourself, but you're sending it to the universe. And it says, I'll quote, please, dear universe, please excuse, fill in your name, please excuse Margaret from all the good deeds, responsibilities, and obligations that she usually takes on. Cut her some slack. <laughs> she needs a couple of days off and will return to all the obligation stuff in the new year. Yours truly, Margaret. I love that. I think it's really cool. And get a little naughty, she says. Put your feet up. We're doing something all year. This is a time to relax. So maybe you've got a different point of view about how to spend these days, but hopefully Stephanie gave you some inspiration for some uh, you know, some little pleasures that you can enjoy over the, over the Christmas break. And I guess I'd like to ask you, you know, what guilty holiday pleasures are you going to enjoy this holiday? What, uh, what movies are you going to watch? Watch TV series? Which guilty holiday pleasures are you going to enjoy? Just leave in the comment section below. We'll, I'll join the conversation myself. I have a few to share. <laughs> and we'll see you all back here tomorrow on Mornings with 60 and Me. Take good care, everybody. See you tomorrow.